Well, hi there. I just hi. I just thought I'd make a quick video. It's a market update for today, um, and just show you what I'm looking at. So, um, I'm not going to be trading per se until the European session at Sunday night now. Um, so the Asian session is coming up in about uh, four or five hours time. But in the meantime, I've put some orders in. Let me just show you what they are. And uh, this is the first one I've got in. Um, this is the Australian dollar, US dollar. And I've got an order, a buy limit in for this double bottom here. Now, unfortunately, these charts are frozen. So I'm going to pause this and then restart the charts. All right, so we're back again. Uh, so this is the Australian dollar, US dollar. You can see we've, we're sort of at this um, recent low coming all the way down from 0.75 and slightly above that earlier. Um, as you can see, these charts are a little bit slow. In fact, we're at 0.76 right back there, going back to the beginning of April, about a month ago. Uh, markets are still closed, but we've come all the way down and we saw a bit of a brief jump or rebound on Thursday and Friday. We've come right back down to this level and you can see at the bottom right hand side of the screen here i've got a buy limit order in and i'm going to be buying this as soon as the asian market opens now i won't be awake but there's an order in to to buy the australian dollar us dollar and you can see it's a very small position one and a half thousand uh, dollars which is a one-to-one -one leverage on this um, challenge account so um 100 pips either way if i lose 100 pips it's one percent if i make 100 pips it's one percent so I'm not too worried about the risk so i don't have a, a take profit i'm hoping that the, we get two or three hundred pips out of this trade which will be i might leave for a few days um on the downside 100 pips that's kind of enough for a stop loss that would be about one percent loss in the account so i think i'm going to be risking one percent to gain about two or three percent with a bit of luck so that's the um, Australian dollar that's the tactic so I've got a limit order and it's going to trigger while I'm asleep if it does if it does trigger and we'll see what happens if it doesn't trigger well there we go uh, and this is the other one this is the uh, Swiss franc US dollar and I've done exactly the same thing you can see I've got a sell limit in on this one Swiss franc uh, US dollar Swiss franc uh, one and a half thousand um, so it's one to one leverage one percent risk is what I'm prepared to take on this trade which is fifteen dollars um, and I'll be aiming for about a 3% profit gain, which is about $45, somewhere around there. So um, between the two of these trades, I might get between 4 and 6% gain, and I'm risking 2% in total risk between the two trades, which is absolutely perfect. And these are trades that I don't have to attend to while I'm sleeping, because they will trigger in the middle of the night, around about midnight my time. So that's a strategy for the open. And for um, the European session on Monday morning, um, we'll trade as normal uh, off the 15 minute charts, uh, quick intraday trades, risking 10 to 20 pips, looking for 40, 30, 40, 50 dollars uh, pips per trade. But these ones, well, it's worth taking a little bit of risk. As I said, it's a 2% overall risk uh, with hopes to gain about 4 to 6% on the trades and that's all i'm going to do for today so i thought i'd just send this out for you thought you might be interested for those of you who are slightly longer term traders it's always good to have um, speculative longer term trades or swing trades in your bag uh, on top of your intraday trading if you are intraday trading and sometimes it's even good to have uh, trend trading uh, um, trading on daily charts longer term trends so you can combine and mix and match all of these three things uh, so that would be intraday trading, swing trading, longer term trading. You can mix them all together if you want to. And just you can do it all on the same account or you can hold um, different accounts, uh, different strategies, one for each account. It's up to you. But that's what I'm doing. So I've got two orders in with a bit of luck. They'll trigger. We'll have to see what happens. Depends on what happens at the market open sometimes, sometimes, but very seldom. There's a weekend gap uh, in which case um, these trades may not trigger. But I don't think that's going to happen this weekend. But I'll update uh, on Twitter. Go and join me on Twitter. Um, and I'll let you know how these trades go. I'm going to post this video up on Twitter. So those of you who do follow me on Twitter who aren't watching this YouTube channel, you'll be able to find this on Twitter. And I'm sure you'll catch up with me there. All right. Well, good luck. And I'll see you in about, um, I don't know, it's uh, 9 o'clock. Sorry, 19, 7 o'clock. So about... Uh, 12 hours time, I'll be trading the European session. So I'll see some of you then.